remember not to go into Power Teacher Pro by using the old launch. Instead, you're going to navigate to the left hand side navigation bar and choose Power Teacher Pro. Once, once it loads, we're going to choose the correct class that we want to work in. And now we're going to create our categories. So I'm going to go to the left hand side of the screen and you'll see this navigation bar here. And I'm going to choose the A plus grading charm. We are going to be creating categories. So I'm going to scroll down to categories. And I've already created a few. So again, I want to make sure I'm in the right class. And to create another category, I'm going to choose the plus create button. And I'm going to choose category. I can select classes that I want these categories to go into. As of right now, it's going to go into math, my 9A through E math grade 5 course. I'm going to go ahead and give my category a name. And I'm going to assign my category a color. I'm going to choose the status is active. And if I would like to, I can enter a description for this category. I'm not going to choose save yet. Instead, I'm going to go to the assignment defaults. And here I can select the score type. By default, it will always go to points. I can choose when to publish the assignment, and I'm going to choose immediately. I'm going to keep check publish scores and count in final grade. Once I have all of this information set the way I would like for it to look, I can then choose save, and that category has been created. Now, I'm going to assign category weights. I'm going to go into the settings tab, the charm on the left hand side, and I'm going to choose traditional grade calculation. I'm going to start at N1, and I want to edit, so I'm going to choose the pencil. I have already added two of my categories. To add another category, I'm going to choose the plus. I'm going to drop down to category weighting. And I'm going to drop down to see the categories I've created. I just created this one, math, classwork, journal. So I'm going to add that one to my weighting. And I'm going to say I want to weight this 20%. And it's going to calculate it here. Now I can go ahead and choose save. If I want to, I can add all my categories first, and then I can go in here and weight them all. 